And this prayer from the earlier church was not focused on their comfort. Their great desire was for boldness in the face of opposition. And so often our prayers differ from what we see within the early church in this passage today. And I unfortunately believe that our prayers are often affected and guided by the quote unquote American dream ideology versus the word of God. What if, what if when we prayed for those that are, are, are facing opposition or are experiencing suffering that instead of ju just praying, God, we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that you alleviate this. What if we continued and said, but Lord, if you choose not to, may the gospel advance because of this struggle. Their the desire was that if they should suffer, that God would give them boldness so that the gospel could be spread. That even if they should receive threats, that God would give them power. That they weren't asking for comfort. They were asking God for perseverance for the mission that he called them to. And my friends, we're in a race of faith and it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's a pilgrimage and the race is tiresome. The race, it's not easy. But just like we see the early church here in Acts experiencing, there's going to be times throughout this race where we are huffing and puffing and suffering to get through. There's gonna be parts of this race where we're running towards Jesus and people stand on the sidelines in their seats of worldly comfort and throw fiery darts against us to oppose us and to wear us down. And Paul said this in 2 Timothy 3.12, in fact, all, say it with me, all who want to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. Not some, all. And on this race of faith, suffering, persecution, and opposition are unavoidable for the Christian. But we must not give up. We must not throw up the white flag. We must not disqualify ourselves from the race. No, we must run with endurance. Hebrews chapter 12, verse one through two says, therefore, since we also have such a large cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us lay aside every hindrance and the sin that so easily ensnares us. Let us run with endurance the race that lies before us. Keeping our eyes on what? Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of our faith. We must run with endurance. We must keep our eyes on Jesus. And in our prayers, we cannot ask God to remove us from this race that is uncomfortable and allow us to sit on the sidelines on a comfortable padded seat of spiritual laziness. No, we must pray and ask God, God, even though there are those that are opposing me, even though that I'm enduring things that are difficult, even though the world opposes the message of the gospel that you've called me to preach, will you please grant that your servant may speak your word with all boldness. The mission of Jesus is worth more than our lives and is more important than having worldly comforts. So let's pray prayers where we ask God to grant us the power to move forward on this mission from Him with all boldness and all power.